Hello guys, Shay here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be doing a 21 Pilots album tier list. There's seven tiers and only five albums, so my opinion's going to be a little bit amplified. If I could, I'd put them all in S, I promise. Before I get started, your guys' opinion might be different. Mine, I got some weird opinions, but I think we can all agree that these albums are amazing regardless. Tyler or Josh, if you're watching this, I love all these albums. I'm going to overly criticize them because this is a tier list. I don't want to rank them, you know what I mean? Also some background, I've been listening to them since like 2015 and I've been an avid fan ever since. So let's just get started. So here we got the tier list, self-titled, regional at best, Vessel, Blurry Face, and Trench. Then we got my little folder here of all their music. And we're gonna start with 21 Pilots, self-titled. I am gonna be talking about each song on each album, but I'm gonna do it very briefly, so yeah. Implicit Demand for Proof is probably one of the best intro tracks I've ever heard. Um, and I, I think that I go back to this track a lot. Fall Away is pretty good as well. I don't find myself coming back as much, but I think it is a really cool track and it, I don't know, it's very unique. A lot of the tracks in here I find very unique stylistically. The Pantaloon is okay. I don't really come back to it that much. I definitely like the happy sound, but I don't really care for this song nearly as much as others. Addict with a Pen is probably the highlight of this album for me and many others. It's a very raw emotional track and just the whole weird drums and the raw piano, it's just so emotional and it's a really good track, no doubt. Now friend, please, I honestly gotta tell ya, it's probably one of my least favorite 21 Pilots songs. The drop is kinda weird, it has that weird creepy piano and then it drops with all the synth and it kinda just falls flat. I feel like it could've dropped a little harder or maybe, there, this song had a lot of potential but I feel like the way it was executed kind of made it fall flat for me. March Through the Sea I think is pretty underrated. It's a little boring for 21 Pilots, but definitely I think it's underrated. I like the song. Johnny Boy is a little overrated. At the, I know a lot of fans like Johnny Boy, but I don't ever listen to this song. It's definitely one of my least favorite 21 Pilots songs. Almost Believer is great. It reminds me of Christmas. I just, I love the vibe. Now, Air Catcher, it's kind of similar to Friend Please, except the Auto tune ruins this song, uh, you know, towards the end. There is an alternate version out there where he actually sings the part, which is amazing, but even then, the song just kind of falls flat. It tries to be kind of hard at some points, but it's kind of just not hard enough. That's definitely a common theme with early 21 Pilots music. Trap Door, I think, is a very underrated track. I think it's amazing lyrically. The Car A Torch of Death is kind of similar uh, to March to the Sea. I know it's not nearly as boring, but it's a little just eh. But I like the song. I think it's pretty good. Taxi Cab is unbelievably overrated in my opinion. I think a lot of the lyrical content is amazing, but it's a little, like I like 21 Pilots because it's so chaotic, but this song just seems a little average to me. I don't know. I definitely do come back to a lot of these tracks though. One track that I never really ever listened to, this might be my least favorite 21 Pilots song, is Before You Start Your Day. That's all I gotta say about that. Now, Isle of Flightless Birds might be my favorite on here. Um, it's a really good outro track, very long, but I feel like I haven't wasted any time when I listen to it, and I just love the lyrics. Now with all the positive stuff said, I am going to put it at E. I know, kind of weird. I'm talking, I'm like praising it, but I'm going to put it down to E because I don't think it's nearly comparable to the rest of their discography. I don't think it's comparable to any of these. If anything, it's just comparable to Regional at Best, which speaking of Regional at Best, that's what's up next. So Guns for Hands, I think is a really solid track. They didn't do much with the remake, but I actually think they made it worse. In the end, there's this cool weird noise when it gets to that reggae kind of beat, and they kind of got rid of it in some of the Vessel stuff. Um, but I'm not gonna try to talk too much about the remake, obviously, but as a song, I think it's a really good, catchy song. Now, Holding On To You is definitely where some of the production quality in Regional At Best kind of shows, and it kind of puts it down a little bit as what it could have been. Holding On To You on Vessel is definitely better, but I still think the song is still great on Regional At Best. Ode To Sleep, on the other hand, a lot of people like to pick on for the production quality in Regional At Best. I couldn't disagree more. I think the production quality and all the little changes that they made in Vessel actually made it worse. Ode to Sleep on Regional at Best kind of sounded a little more rocky. The singing was really good. Then at the end, he hits that high note, and some of the lyrics are a little different. And I just think it, I think it's a lot better on here. Now, Slow Town, as you all know, 
easily my favorite 21 Pilots song ever. Um, that's all I really gotta say about that. <laughs> Car Radio, it's really bad. I don't ever listen to this version. Um, I, that's a shortcoming of this album. Forest is really good. It reminds me a lot of the Vessel um, original stuff. And I think it's a really good song. Glowing Eyes is incredible. It's almost like a better run and go for me. And that's all you gotta say about it. I like some of the lyrics. I like how it's very happy, but also very sad sounding. Kitchen Sink is probably the most iconic 21 Pilots track ever. And I think some of the lyricism in it is beyond amazing. Anathema is very, I don't know, it's kind of boring like some of the earlier songs, but one thing they improved on is the drop. At the end, the song drops and there's this crazy rap verse, and this is when they finally started getting it. They started finally just getting those bombastic drops, and it was incredible. Same thing with Kitchen Sink, but then obviously with stuff like Ode to Sleep and stuff, the drops kind of fall a little flat. Lovely, definitely a downside to this album in my opinion. I have listened to the remastered version, and I think it's miles better. That's all I gotta say about Lovely. Ruby is an incredible track. As I said with Anathema and Kitchen Sink, they finally learned how to make those drops just huge, and Ruby is a perfect example of that. Now, an example of a drop that didn't go too well is Trees on Regional at Best. Trees on Vessel, incredible. But Regional at Best, that you got this auto tune, and then it screams, and then it's like, it drops, but it's like so disappointing. Definitely never come back to this track. Now, be concerned and clear. Personally, I don't like these tracks nearly as much as some others on this album, but I think they're okay. Be Concerned's a little too religious for my liking, and Clear, it kinda is, I, I just don't go back to them as much. I think they're okay though. With all that said, I think I'm gonna give Regional at Best a B. Personally, I think it's my favorite, but I'm gonna try to go by what's best in my opinion, I guess. I That made no sense. Let's just go on to Vessel. Now Vessel is pretty much just regional at best, but better production, obviously they're on a label now. They remastered Ode to Sleep. I think it's, I'm just gonna say it's just like the other Ode to Sleep. I think it's a little bit worse, honestly. Holding on to you is definitely better. And then you got an original Migraine, which personally, I don't like Migraine that much. Migraine's probably one of my least favorite 21 Pilots tracks. And even at that, it's still miles ahead of some other artists. House of Gold, I don't really come back to a lot. I, I, I like their chaotic stuff and it, this is kind of boring to me. Now Car Radio, they definitely improved on a lot compared to Regional at Best. And this was actually my first 21 Pilots song and I didn't like it too much. I still don't like it that much now, honestly. I don't really think it's a great song and all, but I don't like the spoken word, it's so quiet. But they the drop, definitely fulfilling. It's okay. Semi-Automatic is probably one of their best tracks, period. Same as Screen, Run and Go, and Fake You Out. This little section of the album here is beyond incredible, no doubt in my mind. Now Guns For Hands, they didn't improve too much um, from Regional at Best, but it's still a great song, and so I think it's great. Now Trees on Vessel is amazing. Great song, probably one of my favorites. And Truce, I don't know if I can even count it as a track, it's more so an outro track but it's still great. I'm gonna give Vessel an A. I think it deserves it. Now, Blurry Face. Now, Blurry Face is definitely an album that I think is a little overrated, but at the same time, underappreciated. Fans don't like this album because it's what made them famous. They don't like Stressed Out or Ride, and they just hate on everything Blurry Face. Now, I would say I'm gonna try to ignore all of that talk, but me personally, I actually love this album. I think it's very underrated in a sense. Heavy Dirty Soul is an incredible intro track. I did think it fell a little flat. I think it could have used a little more rock and kind of screaming. I love screaming. That's all I gotta say. They did make a version on the Top X Mute Math um, EP where he does scream. And had that been in the studio version, this song would have been amazing. Stressed Out, obviously their big hit. I think it's a great song lyrically. I love, you know, themes of growing up. I think it's a really good song. It's pretty much the sequel to Slow Town, which obviously holds a lot of value to me and I, I love Stressed Out. Now right on the other hand, I do like it musically, but I don't know. I don't ever find myself going back to Ride. I find it just kind of boring. Same with Fairly Local. In the beginning when this album first came out, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was all dark and mystical, but listening to it now, I'm just kind of like, why? Like It's so overdone. Tear In My Heart is definitely a track that reminds me more of Vessel 21 Pilots, and I'm not going to say it's good because of that, but I definitely like that style more. They got that kind of dry piano tone, and it's obviously an amazing love song, and with that, I think it's a great song off Flurry Face. Lane Boy is okay. 
I really like how it's kind of rebellious and talks about the music industry. I really like the judge as well. Um, on it, I like all these songs, but definitely the next four all fall flat for me. Dow is okay. It's a little too trappy for my liking. Polarize is a little, it sounds a lot like Imagine Dragons. I'm not going to say I don't like it because of that, but I don't know. They're definitely okay songs and I love listening to them, but compared to some of other 21 Pilots tracks. Now, Hometown, Not Today, and Goner, I find almost the best part of this album, surprisingly. A lot of people don't like Hometown. I love the atmospheric, kind of quiet vibe it gives off. It's really cool. And Not Today is kind of like that happy-go-lucky piano song. Obviously, you know, in Regional at Best, they had Glowing Eyes, which is a happy, you know, kind of... Uh, up and down boppy piano track then they had the run and go on this album it's not today and i really love not today i just gotta say goner was my favorite song for a little bit i still think it's a great song obviously but i can't listen to that casually but i still think it's a great song so i'm gonna put this with regional at best next up is trench i'm sure a lot of you guys are here for this um so yeah let's do it we got jumpsuit easily the best intro track ever made by anyone in the world um, I'm just kidding, obviously it's opinion, but I think it's an amazing intro track. But then it transitions into Levitate, which I don't like really that much. Don't get me wrong, I really love the rap that he shows off, but then the chorus, you can't really differentiate from the verse, and I really don't like that. I do like kinda how at the end it's like, welcome to Trench, and I think it's kinda cool and all, but as a song, I don't find myself coming back at all. Morph, it really just sounds like a John Bellion song to me. I think someone made a joke about that somewhere. I don't remember where I saw that, but I could not agree more. Um, and not that I don't like John Bellion, but it just kinda, I, I don't know. I just don't really feel it with that song. My Blood is amazing. The bass line and the singing and then the little verse in this song is crazy. I love My Blood. That's all I got to say about that. Chlorine is the most overrated 21 pilot song ever made. More overrated than Stressed Out, Even Heathens, Ride, whatever. I, I'm not a fan of Chlorine. I'm just going to say it right here, right now. I know I made a video about the Chlorine music video and a lot of people have watched me stream and asked me about Chlorine. I'm not a fan of Chlorine. I don't listen to this song that much. It's way overrated. It is too overrated. I'm not going to try to be a hipster. As I said, I love Stressed Out. I'd put Stressed Out as one of my favorite songs, but Chlorine is so overrated. I personally feel like there was like no, it feels like there's no passion in this song. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm, I'm just a listener. Tyler or Josh, if you guys hate me for this opinion, I am sorry. I just don't really, I don't feel this song. Smithereens, on the other hand, a lot of people put this as their least favorite trench song. You are, you could not be more wrong. Smithereens is amazing. I love it. It's just a great song. That's all I gotta say. Neon Gravestones, you know, I don't really come back to it that much, but I love the message. Could not agree more. And I, I just, I held, I hold it to a very high standard. I think I made a video called the most important 21 pilot song ever. That's the standard I hold it to. The hype is really good. I like how hard it gets and it builds up and builds up. Then he screams. And that's like every 21 pilot song ever, but still love this song. Nico and the Niners I like because it kind of brings that blurry face vibe back and it gets that, it, it kind of reverses the instrumental, then he raps over it. I think it's really cool. Um, definitely a highlight on this album. Cut My Lip I did not like, in, like initially, but over time I start loving it. He did that acoustic version where he taps the piano. But then I started listening to it and I started liking the bass and the weird instrument stuff going on. I, I like it. Bandito is definitely a little boring. Um, I don't think it's a terrible song, but it's just a little boring. Pet Cheetah is definitely a highlight on this album for me. I love Pet Cheetah. It is awesome. It's so dark and weird. It's, it's, it's a great song. I don't even know what to say. Now, Legend, I'm going to get a little personal for a second. Um... This song, I I really, honestly, it might have been my favorite Trench song, but ever since um, my dad died, it's kind of fell flat for me. I'm not going to say fall flat. I, feel, I still think it's a great song, but I don't really like to listen to it. Um, my middle name is Jeffrey, and my dad's name was Jeff, and there's just a lot of things that really hit home in this song, and I just can't listen to it, but I think it's still a great song. It was actually my dad's favorite song on this album as well. Actually, no jumpsuit was, but he he uh, he teared up to this song when I 
uh, showed him it. Now, Lee of the City, I think, is an amazing track. Um, great outro. I love the little uh, nod to Truce in the end. Um, definitely a great way to round up the Trench album. So that's all we got. Now we got to put Trench in here. I honestly think I'm going to do that. Yes, we put Blurry Face down and put Trench into B. So now I need to change something. There we go. This is our 21 Pilots tier list. This is definitely, I don't know. I think some of you guys might be a little mad about self-titled. Sorry. I just, yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys the benefit of the doubt. So S tier, we have Vessel. Could not agree more. A tier, I know regional at best might as well be Vessel, but the, with the production quality and some of the songs, I I think it deserves a B. It's definitely my favorite though. With that is Trench. I think that's pretty well deserved. I definitely like all these albums, don't get me wrong. C tier is Blurry Face. I know a lot of people are probably gonna put Blurry Face as their least favorite, but I don't know. I couldn't disagree. I, I, I gotta disagree with that. Then D tier, we have 21 Pilots self-titled. And I know some of you guys are gonna ask this, but if I had to put No Fun Intended on here, it would probably be E tier. I'm not gonna go track by track on that, but I'm just saying I'd probably do E tier for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want some more tier lists, maybe I could do individual albums of 21 Pilots or different artists. Please recommend them in the comments. And I hope you guys all have a great day. See y'all next video. Peace.